Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video we are going to install WordPress on XAMPP. First thing what we need to do, as you remember from the last videos, is to start our XAMPP control panel. We need to start Apache server, as you can see I have already started Apache and MySQL, so we need to start Apache. This is the server and we need to start the database. Once this is done we can start installation. First thing what we need to do is go to Google guys and in Google type in WordPress. First search result which you will see here on WordPress will be WordPress.com guys. As you can see there is sponsored ads, then there is sponsored, sponsored and then first result will be WordPress.com. So we don't need WordPress.com because WordPress.com is hosted on WordPress servers. And there is no installation for WordPress which we could use to install WordPress locally. So we will need to search for WordPress.org and this is for developers. As you can see WordPress.org just click into it and to install this package we need to download WordPress. As you can see here is one button get WordPress, click on this and this will open up a next page and here you can see download and install it yourself and set, set up with hosting provider so we don't need set up with hosting provider we need to download and install yourself so let's click download WordPress 6.2 this is the latest version of WordPress so let's go to downloads as you can see now I'm in my downloads folder and here you can see WordPress 6.2 and this is zipped file first thing what we need to do is unzip this file so right click on this file and here click on extract all and it will ask us where we want to extract these files to. So let's click here on browse and we can extract these files say, directly into HTTP directory. As you remember from my last video when I've showcased you and explained you file system where everything is located, where is your PHP my admin, where is your Apache server, where is your MySQL. In XAMPP server guys I also showed you where you are hosting all your files. So let's scroll down and let's click into Windows C. This is where we installed our XAMPP. Scroll down until we find XAMPP folder. Let's click into XAMPP folder. Click on this htdocs directory. This is where your all applications will live as you remember from last video. Now let's click select folder and click extract and it will extract your WordPress installation directly into htdocs. Meanwhile while these files are being extracted let's go and let's create a database. Open a new tab in the browser and type in localhost. Click enter and here you will see all these websites which you have as you can see currently there is also WordPress being installed. And also this I showed you in my last video when I was showing you and explaining file system and we set up whenever we go to localhost that we can access all your all the, our web applications and these are pretty much all the same web applications which you can find in your htdocs directory if you go open any folder, if you scroll down, if you go on to C, if you go into XAMPP and if you go into htdocs and here you can find exactly the same folders. If you don't know how to do it I will leave a link also in the description of this video so you can set up that whenever you go to localhost you are able to access all your web applications and just by clicking into a web application from here from your localhost you are able to see straight away or be redirected straight away to your website which you are working on. But now like I mentioned let's set up a database and to do that let's open exam control panel. One way how to access PHP my admin which we will be using for creating a database is by clicking here on this admin button as you can see with MySQL. This will open localhost forward slash PHP my admin. Another way is by typing in forward slash and PHP my admin. Once you type in localhost PHP my admin you will straight away get redirected to PHP my admin. And like I said there is other way if you just open this command exam control panel and if you click this button where is MySQL you click on this admin button this will do exactly the same it will also open you localhost php my admin and here you will see the first tab at the very top guys there is databases if you click in here you will see these five default databases which are already come in with this php my admin and here you can create also your database as you can see here at the very top here is the field where you can type in database name and i will type in vpdb you can call your database however you want but if you are using spaces in your database name you need to use underscore as this is the good practice for creating databases with MySQL or databases in general and you are using lowercase letters. This is another thing which you should know if by creating databases we are always using a lowercase letters and if we need to add spaces we are using underscores. Click create and your database will be created. As you can see here on the left hand side we have here new database created vp underscore db. 
but if we go back now as you can see here if I click on PHP MyAdmin if I click into databases here in this table you will also see the last database which was created is VP underscore DB another thing which you should know guys is that for each database you need to add a user and you need to give it the privileges but we will not be doing it in this video and you need to add that user to that database as main administrator pretty much to that database to manage it and you can add user if you click here on user accounts at the very top here you will see that you can add user but here we already have a root user as you can see root user and it doesn't have a password if you look at password field it says no however if you would want you can create your own user for this database I will not be doing it in this video but you can easily do it by clicking here on this add user guys and then you just grant this user all privileges and you assign this user to this database which you have created in our case we just created vpdb and when we will be installing or setting up our wordpress website we will be using this username or we will be adding this username for this database when we will be adding a database i will show you this a little bit later let's open a folder and let's go now into our htdocs directory and here is this website which we installed and currently the folder name is wordpress and here also you need to know guys that you can change this name however you want you can change it to WordPress you can call it my site let's call it my site 3 however you want guys it doesn't really matter what is the name of this folder because this folder is the folder where is all your website and like I mentioned in my previous video when we were creating all these websites as you see we created website 1 website 2 and now we can easily access these websites just by going into localhost so let's open a browser and let's type in localhost we can see exactly the same file structure which we see in htdocs directory which I showcased you earlier as you see here is my site 3 and here we also have my site 3 and now just to start working with this my site 3 one way is by just typing in localhost forward slash and uh, my site 3 or we can just simply click on my site 3 here on this folder system on the screen and here we can install or start installation of our WordPress so first thing is select your language click continue here it is prompting us that welcome to WordPress before getting started you will need to know the following items database you know username like I already showcased you guys that we can use root username and that root username it doesn't have a password and next thing what we need is database password so it doesn't have a password and database host and database host is local host if we go back guys you can also see that this is local host so let's click let's go I will close this bottom tab and here database name as you remember let's go back guys if we click into databases here you can see our database name uh, vp or wp underscore db this is what we need to enter here so wp underscore db and username was root and we don't have a password so we leave this field free and here we are adding just localhost because this database is on the same server but for example if you would be working with live servers where for example your databases would be located or hosted on another server then here you would type in just an IP address of that server where your database is hosted because there could be scenarios in your life when you are developing websites that files are located on one server but databases are located on another server so here in database host you just type in IP address of that server where your database is hosted but in general in most cases in 99% of cases you will have here local host because database will be on the same server where is your file system and that is exactly what we are having in our scenario that's why we are leaving here localhost and here you can leave this table prefix or just remove it it doesn't really matter I will leave it and click submit and here we can give site title it doesn't really matter what you will give here because you can also change this site title later from your WordPress ad website administration I will call it just my site and in username field you can give a username which you will be using to log in into your WordPress I will just call it user and here you always give a strong password I will also give some weak password as I am creating this video only for learning purpose confirm your password you click here if you are using a weak password you say confirm use of weak password and here in email address you are adding your email and search engine visibility if you are working locally for example on some local environment where search engines will not be able to access your website you can 
not click this but for example if you would want to disable search engine visibility you just click this uh, you just click this button guys i will leave it unclicked and let's click install wordpress and wordpress will be installing on your pc success we can save this to our browser and as you can see username is user and password your chosen password and you just log in guys then you will be redirected to this page where you can see this is user and here is your password you can type in your password you can click on remember me so you don't have to log in all the time and click login and you will be redirected to the administration area of your website and here in the left top corner where you can see my site this is the name which we gave to this website if we click on it we can open our website in browser and here you go guys we have installed the wordpress website from here you can start working with wordpress so yes guys hope that you found this video useful if you did leave a like share this video subscribe to the channel if you are new as i will be creating many more videos on web development on networking and many more programming languages if you are interested subscribe and see you in the next one